Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Now, I wanted to tell you this is a proper and wonderful Tell It Tuesday, and I want to get going. But I do want to say that I won't be facing the camera this morning. It is a really impressive thunderstorm going on outside, which means I haven't had the opportunity of taking a shower, so my hair is wild. And I thought that it would be best to have nice, wonderful eye candy than wild hair. So here we go. Let's get going. The very first question that I have is from Inez, and she says, and this is in reference to the six key holder, have you had any issues with the glazing? Well, Inez, I can tell you very excitedly, um, no, I haven't, and that's a really great thing. Let me just go ahead and open it up and show you here. Can everybody see that? I am having like zero issues with it. I really do love it. This is such a wonderful little item. I know I say it all the time, but if you have not had the opportunity to get one of these, please look at that. Not even an issue with the button. I know other people have you know, stated that that is a possible problem, but I promise you I have not had any issues at all. So there you go. The next question is from Nurse NJ. And she says, do you have a pen case you could recommend? I finally bought my Chanel Jumbo Flap. I shudder if a pen is on the counter next to it. So first of all, Nurse and Jay, I have to say, yay for you, congratulations. That Chanel Jumbo Flap is on my list of things to purchase. I am so excited for you. I can't even imagine. You have got to be so excited. And I just... That's wonderful, my gal, I love it. So yeah, I really do have some recommendations. Um, I could not find my the one that I carry all the time, uh, so I'm not quite sure what happened. I think it's in my, my bedroom and my guy is uh, sleeping in there right now, resting peacefully, and I didn't want to interrupt that. But I have a wonderful Dooney and Burke pencil case or pen case, and I love it because the inside is that wonderful waterproof material or water resistant material that they're just so good at um, <clears throat> but I wanted to share this with you this one is a little bit larger but you can pick this up at most Dooney and Burke um, outlets and I don't know if they have them in the regular stores but I'm gonna tell you that I love it and it's usually inexpensive and it's that you know it's that most helpful should a pen go off in your purse right so it's that material and that pencil case has this on the inside not looking like this it's um, like it's that reddish color but it's the same kind of material and I think that's what you would need in your in your handbag should anything really go wrong and I'm the same as you when you spend this kind of money you really want to be careful if indeed you are going to place that kind of item in your handbag please please make sure and I know that you're already feeling this and just to everybody else make sure that your pens are contained there's nothing worse than looking on <coughs> excuse me looking on a pre-loved site and and seeing all these purses where someone goes well there's some pen marks down on the bottom I just that's the that's an immediate pass you by moment for me so the next question I hope that helped nurse MJ so um, the next one is from Karen, and uh, it looks like, uh, Karen, you are recently into luxury handbags, so congratulations. Welcome to the, to the um, family, the obsessed family. Uh, so let's see here. You purchased a pochette accessoire. I'm so excited for you. So you're really focused on Louis Vuitton, and that's a great brand to be focused on. I love it myself. And looks like there's a slightly musty smell, and you're wondering what to do about the interior. Thank you so much for trying the vinegar and water mixture on the outside and on the canvas. And it looks like it did well out there, but this particular didn't do well on the inside. So let's talk about that for just a moment. When you're dealing with a musty smell, it's not necessarily is the bag clean smell. So while the vinegar and water does a little bit of disinfectant to the bag, it may not take away the smell because the smell might be a vintagey kind of smell, and that is a little bit beyond what vinegar and water can do. So there's a few things that you can do, and let's talk about that. Uh, the first thing that I can recommend is, um, it's an item called Ozium. 
and it's spelled O-Z-I-U-M, and that is well-loved by the LV community for those musty kind of vintage bags. You can sit it in there, and it will draw some of the smell. Um, I, you know, I did recently have a bag that had a bit of an odor to it, and, you know, I did try it, and it didn't seem to help as much as some of the other things. So I just wanted to put it out there. Some people have experienced great success with it. I, I have only had one a bag that had an odor, and I didn't find that it worked as well. And I'm going to show you what I did that I felt worked pretty good. So here we go. Uh, the first thing that I did, not the first thing that I did, <laughs> but one of the things that I did when, when it started to work and, and make it a, a much nicer smelling bag was this right here. This is Odo Ban. And, you know, I got it. It says disinfectant for fabrics, fabric, and it's an air freshener. I really do like it. Also, it does say something here. I think it's, um, maybe it doesn't take away uh, like 99% of the germs, I guess, but I really like it because I, oh, here it is right here. Kills, kills 99.9% .9 of germs and I'm a germaphobe. So there you go. I really like this. You can pick it up at your local Home Depot store. And what I did was I just took the, I, you know, just kind of opened it up and I'm just going to use this as an example. So I just kind of opened it up and then, you know, I just kind of took it just and sprayed down in there. And then I made sure that it had the opportunity to kind of stay open. So if you've got your, if it's the pochette, you know, then I might just kind of, um, you know, set it up and then, you know, just kind of allow it to be like that and, you know, or kind of lean it or set it up where the opening can stay open so it has the opportunity to let the spray dry into the fabric. And I would give that like a day or two to do what it needs to do and then I'd go back and smell it. If it still has a little bit of an odor, I would go back in and, ch -ch 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 and spray it again. But you don't wanna do it like every day. So like do it, give it a couple of days and then let it do its thing and then spray it again if you need to. Now, when that's done, I'm going to show you something else that I do at the very end. So I can't say that this necessarily worked. I feel like the Odo Ban is what worked in that bag, but what gave it a lovely smell, and I'm going to show you that right here, is the Febreze Air Effects. And I, I happen to have just showed, I like the smell of Gain. I can't use it on my clothes because I have very sensitive skin. So that's what I chose to use. Now this is just... It eliminates odors and it freshens, and we all know that it smells nice when you spray it in your house. It doesn't do anything as far as eliminating germs and that kind of thing, but what it did for the bag that I had the issues with is Odoban, I think, really destroyed whatever it was that was creating the odor, and then I just came in with the Febreze, and now when I started to smell it, I'm like, you know, it's really not that bad anymore. Now, unfortunately, remember, I'm a germaphobe, so... I couldn't get past that with that particular bag, but I have a feeling that that should probably work for your pochette accessoire because it's one of those bags that is not prone to a type of smell. The, the DeVille, which is the bag that I was talking about, truly is, and I think that's where I had the issue. So I hope, Karen, that's helpful for you. If you have any other questions, like, or if that doesn't work, would you please send me another email and you and I We'll, um, you know, maybe we could get on the phone and talk about some other uh, ideas. We'll kind of brainstorm together and see if we can't get you to a happy place on that. I would love very much for your per first purchase, not to be a sad purchase, but I want you to really enjoy that bag. So I hope that's helpful. Um, the next one actually came from a lot of people, so I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to just do a follow-up on this particular bag and on Norwex. So I know that some of you were very curious to know, <clears throat> in an earlier video, I invited everyone to a Norwex party, and um, I, we had a lot of fun with it, and I did some trial things around the house, and one of them was, hey, um, what's going on with your bag um, that you, you know, like your, your Speedy, because you wiped down the handles, you know, did it, did it work? Because all I did was just wipe with a Norwex and Cloth and water. So I'm happy to say that yes, it did work, and I'm going to insert the picture here. Really impressed with those results. 
So I, I'm very, very excited. The next step that I took, I wanted to tell you guys, is one of the things that I got in is called the Norwex Cleaning Paste. And I just wanted to share it with you. So it's the Norwex Cleaning Paste. And I, I'm so impressed with it. So I, oh, let me go ahead and open it up so I can show you. Here we go. So I've actually used it quite a bit. See that little dip in there? I got a little crazy in that little one dip area. It's not because that's what I was using. It's because I think I was rubbing it a little too in des desperately and kind of gouged some out. But um, you actually don't need to use a whole lot. And it works incredibly well. Here is the EnviroCloth that I have designated to just my handbags. So it's Norwex and it's the EnviroCloth. And it's got that back lock. And what that means is it's naturally... in. My, um, antimicrobial. So this is my, um, like I said, oh, there's a little spot there. Like I said, this is my designated EnviroCloth. And what I do is I just dampen it and you don't even need the vinegar anymore. You can just kind of wet that and go over it and it will wipe up any bacteria. We've done multiple tests in my house because again, germaphobe here. Um, and I am so amazed that just this cloth and a little bit of water can do exactly what bleach my bleach spray can do. So I'm trying to learn to trust it. But I wanted to share with you that as different as the handles were, I went back to the other handle with the paste and in a whole lot shorter time, I was able to get them looking fairly similar again. I'm very impressed with it. And let me just take a look here. I wanna make sure that I've got the right side. I went even further. So this is the side that has just the water and you can tell that there's um, this one I think cleaned up a little bit better because I used the paste. This is almost at a point where I'm actually pretty happy with it and I'll have no problem um, you know wearing it on a regular basis. But here's something I wanted to show you. On this other side I did a lot of work to take off um, some of the the green stuff and you can tell like it worked pretty good but there's like just a little bit lingering on the leather. I want to show you something. As I started working on this this is what one looked like, and that's what it looks like now. Can you see that? I think you can actually see my reflection in it. That's crazy. <clears throat> and see the see it? The, the real difference there? Much cleaner. I wanted to share with you that all that is, is I took the EnviroCloth, I took a little bit of the paste, I ever so gently rubbed the handle, and then I, um, I went, hmm, I wonder what it would do in this section. <clears throat> it took away the green so quickly and was still so gentle on the leather. I just wiped it and went, oh my goodness, I have to show my friends this before I continue cleaning this bag. So I'm going to end up finishing it and I'm going to share it within another video. And I just want you to know that I do have some loving my bags. But I think I'm so impressed with this paste and with this EnviroCloth. It's so good for the environment. It didn't do any damage to my bag. I, I really do like it. And I think that I'm going to be using it a lot for those bags that come in that are a little bit older and need a little bit of love. I have absolutely no fear. I have taken off um, stains in one of my Dooney bags that, um, that needed it. That was a pre-loved item. And it came off immediately. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, even beyond what the handles look like, because now they're kind of matchy-matchy again. Although, I have to say that I'm going to go over it one more time, because as you can tell, that paste, I just believe, took it to a little bit cleaner. See what I mean? There's that a darker spot, but I think all in all, I mean, you could get there with just the rag. I just think that you don't have to, you don't have to rub as hard. You can be a lot gentler. And this particular paste is, is, as you can see, very, very gentle on the Vachetta. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's gone long. I know it's been a long uh, Tell It Tuesday. Thank you for sticking with me through it. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, listen, honey, that's okay. You can give it a thumbs down. That's all right. I really would appreciate it. I, it would be helpful for me if you would let me know why it's a thumbs down because then I can either decide that I want to do something a little bit better or keep it the way that it is because that's fine for me too but I'd love to know and at the end of the day take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already I'd love to have you as part of the family I want you to take care I want you to be safe today I want it to be a great day for you now if you don't want it to be a great day that's fine you make it what you would like for it to be 
but I would love for you to be happy in it. Take care, everyone. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.